Excited to bring you this today. It's like something off the X-Files, guys. Now they're starting to admit what we already knew. Is this going to be a lying sign and wonder? Is this going to be a deception that deceives the masses to believe that this entity or these beings are actually the ones who put us here? They are God. What I wanted to do today, guys, was show you scripturally how we see at times stuff in the spiritual manifest in the physical, even on a demonic side. Guys, be open to this. Watch it all the way through to get the full context of a couple of little clips to show you that will blow your mind and really make you aware the things that are happening in the world are all a part of the deception. Guys, if it's your first time here, you're so, so welcome. Um, if you want to be part of the family, go ahead, you can hit that subscribe button. Um, guys, just throw this video a like and get this out. This message needs to be heard by all believers to know that God is still fully in control. I'll see you on the other side. Right guys, as I said, the first kind of clip I'm gonna show you here is just something um, from the ex-president Barack Obama, guys. This topic, subject at the moment, is a hot topic. It's a debate among people. Should we as believers be looking out at what's going on within kind of the spatial realm and the, this whole thing of UFOs? Now, I don't believe they're Martians, ET phone home, etc. It's not like that at all. I believe that this is like an, another dimensional beings, interdimensional beings, or what some people will say they're kind of demonic, etc. And I'm kind of fine with that. But guys, when the world starts telling us something, this was closed off for so long. But now they're starting to kind of let out small bits at a time. This will be a big deception. But have a look first, guys. I'm going to let you hear this one first. And then I'm going to give you scripture on where this is. And why we have to be looking out for this. Have a listen to what the ex-president says here, Barack Obama. Hang on this now. Former U.S. President Barack Obama. He was on the Late Show with James Corden last night. And he appeared to also confirm these videos. Take a look. Uh, there's footage and records of objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are. We can't explain uh, how they moved, their trajectory. You know, I, th I think that we're uh, people still take seriously trying to investigate and figure out what that is. There you go, guys. It's straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Obviously, they're unsure of what they are. They're never going to give you full answers. But they're now admitting that there's strange objects flying around that defy all the laws of physics that we have how they move to and fro etc they're basically telling you that we have some sort of un unidentified flying objects going around obviously these things have been flown by something but what i wanted to do guys i'm keeping this short and brief and to the point people ask this question a lot is this something that is real when we look at the bible guys we see a lot of the times the spiritual world becoming manifest in the physical world and we do have to be looking out for those things because also we read in Ephesians, guys what we do physically when we obviously when we're praying and warfare we put on the full armor as paul tells us against obviously to protect ourselves against powers principalities etc so when we pray and break those things and what we let loose here is loosed in the heavens guys but what happens when it's the other way around things that manifest in the physical that are from the heavens or from the spiritual and when we look at scripture i wanted to give you this one thing just to give you a little inkling it's paul again in romans 8 it says, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature. That's the wording he uses, guys. Nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Basically, Paul has covered all angles here. Regardless of all of those situations, all of them powers principalities etc other creatures stuff that we don't really know of none of none of that can actually separate us from the love of god so we have that promise what i wanted to show you we've seen it many times through scripture angels kind of talking with us talking with people in the bible lot etc all of this you know it also says in hebrews be not forgetful to entertain strangers for thereby some have entertained angels unaware, which means they looked like 
us. They were spiritual beings who transformed and became to look like us. We didn't know any different. We thought they were us. We thought they were just a stranger going around and we welcomed them to give them food, etc. and whatnot. This is a prime example showing you that these things can manifest in the flesh. Paul, when he described that in Romans 8, that nothing can separate us from the love of God, named 10 specific things, and one of those was nor any other creature. Nothing, whether it be what they call aliens, whether it be demonic, can separate us from the love of God. Well, what I wanted to clarify to you is that there's some other creature mentioned in there. Doesn't get specific, but it's something that is different. When we read in Genesis 6 and it talks about the Nephilim or the giants of those days, we know something happened then that changed everything. And I believe we're seeing a dispersion or, or, or a repetition of that today. But this whole phenomenon, they're going to use as such deception. Christ himself said in Matthew 24, three times he gave the woe, do not be deceived, do not be deceived, do not be deceived. Deception is going to be at an all time high. They're going to use this to say that we were seated here, that it wasn't God who created all this, that it was a stronger being from who evolved over time, who now had the technology back then and seated us here. One of the number one um, guys in this is obviously um, Richard Hawkins, who's uh, a major when it comes to the likes of Darwinism, evolution. What he says in this next interview, it's 10 or 11 years old now at this stage, guys, will blow your mind. They're actually admitting to it. Have a look at this and see for yourself. Just the possibility that there, that intelligent design might turn out to be uh, the answer to some issues in uh, genetics or in, well, in evolution. It could come about in the following way. It could be that uh, at some earlier time, somewhere in the universe, a civilization e evolved by probably some kind of Darwinian means to a very, very high level of technology and designed a form of life that they seeded onto perhaps this, this planet. Um, now, th that is a possibility and an intriguing possibility. Mm. And I suppose it's possible that you might find evidence for that if you look at the, um, at the detail, details of biochemistry, molecular biology, you might find a signature of yeah. some sort of designer. Wait a second. Richard Dawkins thought intelligent design might be a legitimate pursuit? Um, and that designer could well be a higher intelligence from elsewhere in the universe. Well, but that higher intelligence would itself have had to have come about by some explicable or ultimately explicable process. It couldn't have just jumped into existence spontaneously. That's the point. So Professor Dawkins was not against intelligent design, just certain types of designers, such as God. So the, the Hebrew God, the God of the Old Testament, he doesn't exist in your view? Um, certainly, I mean, that would be a, a very unpleasant problem. There you go again, guys. He is one of the number one guys when it comes to the thing of evolution, etc., that there is no God. But yeah, he has contemplated um, of a design, an intelligent design that came from behind, but he, in his own kind of mind, it's, it's not God. It would be another type of creation, whether it be aliens, etc., that planted us here. These will be the deceptions that will be used, guys. When I look at the whole UFO agenda and see it as it is, it's going to be one major deception. A lot of people will turn and say that these guys are the gods. These are the ones that put us here. They are the higher power. They are, they are obviously God. This is how they will use that. We cannot hide away from this anymore, thinking that it isn't happening and turn shy of you. I'm not telling you to throw away your life and hide, hide under a rock, no. We tell this for what it is, which is another scheme of Satan to deceive people away from knowing Jesus Christ and obviously really getting to, uh, into a relationship with Christ and seeing God for who he truly is. They'll use every type of lying wonder which we know they're going to do and this is going to be one of them. All I wanted to do was to show you guys in scripture there's plenty and plenty of it to show us that the supernatural or the spiritual can manifest in the physical and this whole UFO thing is going to be a spiritual or a heavenly thing that's going to be seen in the physical but it's there to deceive. It's not from God. It's going to be there to totally deceive the masses. That's why I wanted to do this today, guys, just to keep your minds open, to be alert of what's happening. But as I always say, guys, regardless of what's going on in the world, God is always in control, and keep that faith.